Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in this video we will allow a user to log in into his account to use this chat app. So you can see that we have created this uh, uh, login uh, layout or you can say this we have uh, designed this layout for our uh, login activity in the previous video tutorial. So if you have not watched that video tutorial, please go and watch that tutorial first. And uh, we have also uh, defined these fields here on our uh, this login activity and then we have cast this inside this initialize field method and we call this method here on our on create method so now what we're gonna do uh, whenever the user click on the login button then uh, we will uh, get the uh, text or you can say whatever the user email and password and we'll convert it to string and then we will check if it is the correct email and password or not and we will allow the user to log in into his account so here we can say login button dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this one create method we are going to call a method and that we will create now and let's say it will be allow user to login let's create this method and this is our method and now here for the time saving go to the register activity and from here we can copy this string email and these two if statements and also up to this else copy this and paste it here so it will get the email password and if it is uh, not if it is empty then we will tell the user to please enter email and password so if it is provided then inside the else statement we need to uh, add here a firebase auth so for that here we can say private firebase auth let's call this as mauth and then in our non create method we can say mauth equals to firebase auth dot get instance now using this mauth we will allow the user to uh, sign in so here we can say m auth and here you can see this appear which is sign in with email and password it needs the email and the password which we uh, will get from the user dot add on complete listener new on complete listener and first of all make sure to put a semicolon here and now if the task is successful then we will send the user to the main activity so for that uh, we have create an intent in this method which is send user to main activity if i show you then this is the method okay which is basically we will send the user from login activity to main activity and also let's uh, display a toast message to the user and that will be uh, logged in successful and if any error occur then we will do the same which we did here on the register activity so copy this else statement and we will display the error message for the uh, login unsuccessful let's say for any for any case if the login is unsuccessful and change this to login activity okay as we are on the login activity and we need to add here a progress dialog so for that here we can say private progress dialog and let's call this as loading bar or go to here to the uh, register activity and for the time saving we will pass that here because we have already created that and now go to the initialize fields on our login activity to initialize this loading bar here sorry it is progress dialog and now come to the register activity and copy this loading bars from here and now also we have to display it and change this message to uh, sign in please wait and if the task is successful 
then we have to dismiss the uh, loading bar so here we can say loading bar dot dismiss and yeah also if the error is occur then we can say loading bar dot dismiss now uh, we will test our app okay we have completed this login uh, code now the next thing which we forget in the previous tutorials is that here you can see when uh, we are checking the current user okay which is the firebase user then here we say in the on start method that is the, if the current user is not null then we will send the user to the main activity which means that if the user is already logged in then we will send the user to the main activity it is correct but uh, we forgot to get the current user now how to get the current user now so here inside our on create method uh, by using the m auth okay we will get the current user so after this m auth we can say current user equals to m auth dot get current user so we are getting that user okay so now uh, it will work correct and now go to the uh, main activity here also we use this firebase user current user so if the on our main activity if the user is not uh, logged in that is if the current user is null then we will send the user to the login activity we will not allow to use this app he has to log in first but as you know we have not uh, get the current user so to get the current user here we can first uh, define the firebase auth so you can say m auth firebase auth m auth and then in our on create method here we can say m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance and then we can say current user equals to m auth dot get current user so yeah that's it now it will work fine so yeah let's run the app to see if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and now let me type my email address then password and then let's click on login sign in please wait logged in successful so you can see that uh, now a user can log in into his account successfully so yeah we have completed the registration process uh, using the firebase and also the login okay now in the next few tutorial we will uh, allow a user to log in from this app anytime he want and then we will add further functionalities to our this app so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel like this video and yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now